Hey guys, Bella here, and in this video, I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum Hammered Paint to refinish or upcycle this cast iron bird bath. This is something that I picked up from Goodwill for $10, and it's a really old piece. It's something that I think will have a lot of life left in it. It just needs to be upcycled a little bit, so I thought that we could try out this paint. I've never used the hammered kind, but I know that Rust-Oleum makes a lot of great products, especially when it comes to refinishing things. And this one is good for multiple surfaces, indoor, outdoor, works on metal, wood, and no primer needed. So all I'm going to do to prep this is just wash it with some soap and water and get it cleaned off. One thing I like about spray paint is that it's very beginner friendly. You really don't need a lot. I'm just using gloves and a sheet and we're just going to start spraying and see how this textured look goes on this bird bath. So it's pretty close to that texture on the paint can. You can see here it probably is going to take two coats but as the sun shines, you can see a little bit clearer. It's pretty, it's pretty shiny. It's pretty cool texture. So in my opinion, probably the worst part of spray painting is waiting, waiting on it to dry so I can flip it over and paint the other side. Um, I'm going to go in and eat a bite and hopefully by the time I get done eating, it will be somewhat dried. The only thing I've noticed that kind of seeped through were some spots that were just kind of aged spots, but I don't really mind the way that it looks. It, it really doesn't look bad from afar and theoretically it's going to be up on a windowsill around my house and it will be full of water. So overall, I think it looks pretty good so far. Um, I'm going to flip it and I'll paint the other side here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we are flipping her over and going back to spray paint the other side of the bird bath now. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly coat this with our Rust-Oleum hammered paint. Now the sun is trying to come out so you can kind of see that color a little bit better now. That is really a really gorgeous orangey brown color, sort of like a rustic orange color. And I think that that is really a good choice if you're painting things for outdoors. That's a color that's pretty timeless. It doesn't really ever go out of style. So I'm pretty happy with the choice. All right, my boss is coming over to inspect my work. What do you think? Do you like it? smells kind of weird i know so we had one side that was a little bit more difficult to get to this underside here so i'm just using the paint can to prop that up and i'm going to go ahead and spray that now so we don't want to miss anything want to get full coverage on this project because i certainly don't want to be out here doing this again another day this is a project that can easily be done in a day you just have to keep coming back to it over and over as it dries but it's still a relatively easy project to get done So here is a side-by-side -side comparison showing you the can and showing you the bird bath. So you can see that the color is actually pretty close to what was advertised that is showing up. Of course, I was painting something that was mostly white or sort of ivory, so it was easy to cover that. But overall, I think that it covered really well. I am going to come back and paint this again, but I want to give it a chance to dry. But I love the textured look that it has so far. And I feel like this is a product that I could definitely see myself using for a lot more outdoor projects. All right, guys, we've got it finished. We are done with that second coat and this is what it looks like in the sun. This is the kind of textured look that I was kind of hoping for, especially since we already had a little bit of weathering with this. But I'm going to go ahead and fill it up and put it on my windowsill and see what it looks like. I've got a bunch of bird houses out here and the birds really like it here. The next thing I've got to do is tackle these carpenter bees that keep making holes in my wood, but that may be another video for another Another time, another project for me to worry about. Moment of truth, we are pouring water into the bird bath and we're gonna see how it does. It actually holds quite a bit of water. All right, we filled her up 
now all we have to do is wait for the birds to show up and i have a pair of binoculars that i actually use i've gone like full nerd when it comes to bird watching in my backyard because it's just such i don't know it's like a really relaxing hobby it's free it's in these tough economic times you could just go outside and watch birds if you don't have gas money to do anything else so I am really happy with how this project turned out. I think it's a pretty good contrast in the windowsill with the brick and the orange color kind of matches a little bit, but overall I'm really happy with how the project turned out. I think it looks super cool and I saved something from going to a landfill and probably saved myself quite a bit of money because I looked at bird baths and they were anywhere between 50 to a hundred dollars and I got this for 10 bucks and spray painted it for eight bucks So we've got about twenty dollars in this project and I'm really really happy with the results Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you pursue your own projects and have fun with it and I will catch you guys in the next video